Ladies and gentlemen, Nigerians say the fear of VDM at the beginning of wisdom. VDM does scatter the table again this morning. The table has been destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, VDM comes out with a proof. When he says, I have a proof, men begin fear. Begin, let, people like begin shake. This time around, VDM has just dropped the bomb on the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, VDM have just dropped the bomb on the internet. Bob Risky that we thought was had, was in prison because of the money laundry case was never in prison. No, he was chilling in a nice lodge or hotel somewhere, just chilling. And VDM have the proof, and I'm going to play the proof for you here. And also, there are a lot of ways of people that are caught up in in this whole situation. The EFCC uh, facts. The bad guys is caught up. The police uh, are caught up. The prison, the chief of prison water is caught up. The father of uh, Fast is caught up. This is a whole web of of corruption that is being exposed here. VDM have just shaken the table heavily, shaking the table. Ladies and gentlemen, before we dive into this, man, before I show you, play the voice note, the video from VDM. Please do not forget to like, subscribe to our channel, like this video, leave a comment. Tag somebody that's tag a friend, tag anybody, and please do not forget to go and check our blog at www.afrobizgem.com. Please, if you don't even want to go and just go and check the blog, just add numbers to us, help us add numbers to us to Afrobiz Germany, whatever you see us. If you go and just check, you are adding that's the way you help us grow. So, ladies and gentlemen, without talking too much, please watch this video and see for yourself. Yeah. I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So, my Facebook. And they're paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So, I'm okay. So, they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy a house of 450 million around Pinoc. And we are staying in a Chevron. Blah, 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 blah. The shop put the money laundry shop. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that, okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said, we should go and bring 15 million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. Now, this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be unveiled. First things first, you heard it from Bob Risky. Um, EFCC charged them, charged him 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember when this case against Bobriski starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bobriski paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime. Do you understand? But they are deeply involved in financial crime. So, they remove the money laundry. Anyways, let's continue. There's a lot of things in this um, call recording. I talked to my friend. I called my friend, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money from my account, but he said, I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So, I now called a few of my friends. You know, Polanco, Elele? Mm -hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my very good friend. So, I called him. I told him, he was like, ah, no, I can't want to keep sending those, I can't want to keep sending those. He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account, he now sent eight million. Uh, wait, he can't want to send the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked sure that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, ah, I'm getting here with Shaman a very nice person. So, I called the Mola, the Mola in New York, he knows my friend too. Mm -hmm. The Mola sent to one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. I feel the Mola sent me one million, yeah, the Mola sent me one million naira immediately, transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. So let me not start calling the, the wrong people. The wrong people. Do you understand? Sure. Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, the money share complete 15 million that I paid. They now remove money laundry. They now took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that. The so you heard him. 
after I paid the money to EFCC, EFCC removed money laundry and they now removed that charge and took him for spraying money. Do you understand? So EFCC, you people collect money to drop charges. This is crazy. And these are the people that want to fight for financial crack. Tomorrow night, you're going to tell us you will arrest Ayabelu. Are we sure that if you arrest him, you will not collect money for dropping charges? Wow, EFCC. This is crazy. But anyways, it doesn't end here. Let's continue. The old things, the old things started from, the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, Abby, that they gave me best female dress. Yes, that's yes, when the yes, old I things did. Yeah. Yeah, that's when the old days started from, you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, envy. So mm. we, shall, we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty that ah, maybe God will even pity me or say, oh yeah, pay fine. I know. Or, or community service. Sadly, the court sent to me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me. And said, You will not enter that prison. Why worry? Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison that is going to call the um, is going to call the controller in my that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja and I'm talk to them. They shall talk before I come back, Sha. Then I took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so that the um, that okay. The other said they that. should come out. The other said they should come and keep me here. That I mustn't, um, I mustn't go like enter data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know. So they said the guy will call him money. Do you want to give them seven? Wait, 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 wait. Who is this Bob Risky's godfather that called the controller general of prison in Abuja? and instructed him that he should not let Bobriski to enter prison and the controller general of prison now gave Bobriski an apartment outside the prison do you understand an apartment outside the prison that he should act he should stay there and he will not enter the prison so Bobriski didn't go to prison obviously basically the prison obviously is for the poor men and for the poor masses so this is how the EFCC come and lie to us Say they don't prove somebody, they don't arrest one big man for financial crime. But they go no go arrest the man, they no go sentence him or carry him. Go give him one lodge somewhere and he no go enter prison. This is what is going going on in Nigeria. Do you understand? The law is only against the common and the poor man. Now only poor man they go prison. But but Brisky, one godfather somewhere. That godfather you go come out and the controller of prisons, the controller general of prisons. You have to come out and defend this. If not, me, I will continue rubbishing your name online, the Controller General of Prisons. So, this is how they call you to remove prisoners. Eh? After the courts have sentenced the prisoner, you will remove them. But that's not all. Let's continue. Mike Millionaire, I had to call Elie Lane again because there's nobody for me to call. Elie Lane gave me, uh, gave me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now, the so I'm supposed to come out in um I'm supposed to come out in what's it called ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Bad guy. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon the president because you know it's Wait, Faust the bad guy. I can't even believe this. First, the bad guy contacted Bob Risky and Femi Falano contacted his father and his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bob Risky in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same Faust, we have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the government for oppression. That he wants justice. He wants Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you did carry yourself I don't even want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be Fela lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, wait, wait. What is the relationship between Faust and Bobriski? I be Faust said they do. Oh. Okay. Who are we to crucify the homosexual? Most of them don't they evolve from time. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite, too. 
No, oh, now that song they make sense to me. Wait, I be for self they do. This is crazy. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's continue. Hey, now wow, Nigeria. It's mm -hmm. Fedra that uh, my 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 kiss is Fedra. That's so that the Fedra can actually pardon me. That's the president that mm -hmm. he can do it. That if he, if he pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay. So the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister, minister of justice in Abuja. So minister of justice will now send it to president to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, you take it fast to him. That the man, they said they will collect ten million naira. Jesus. For him to yes, that that pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends so but you know, you don't know who set you up. You know, and they've not know. opened my. Account. All right. So based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration in this uh, phone call. Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million Naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow! These are people I respected. These are people I look up to. Faust the bad guy always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So you are also involved in things like this. It's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. Say Nigeria, I have lost 100% respect respect for this unless if they come and come defend this one saying a lie but for now uh we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth because Bobriski said all these things like he contacted uh somebody to borrow him money and the person recorded everything now uh just in case where Bobriski go on argue let me drop your number uh, this is your number eh? now why so this is your number your number ends with um 2208 that's how your number ends with so this is you actually you cannot deny anything so efcc i will expect you people to bring to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the doormouth of justice if you know you truly fight against financial crime and this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody and it's really crazy and the controller general of prison i don't know I don't know what it they happen, but it's almost as if yes. I want to know the Godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them, instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. First. Part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you gotta learn. And you will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play. You've seen what is happening. There's no much to be, to, be, to be said there anymore. Nigeria is only meant for the rich. Only the poor people that is affected by the law. Only the poor people goes to prison. The one that hurts me mostly, like VDM said, is first the bad guy and the father. These are our trusted people. And now this is destroying our trust in them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bob Risky. Uh, um, VDM warned you that he has an evidence. You should have just paid back that debt and avoided what this, this table shaking that's happening now. Now you're bringing a lot of people down with you. Bob Risky is. And, and, and the funny thing is, VDM says there are more videos to come, that there are more contents about this whole, the same thing, this, 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 top, this topic now to come. That means. There's a whole lot of corruption that is going to be hope exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not talk much. You've seen the video. Make your mind. Let's discuss this. Leave a comment on this video. Let's keep the discussion going on. Like this video. Share. Subscribe to all our Forbes Germany channel on all online platforms. Tag somebody. And please go to our blog at www.afrobizgermany.com. Go and read some beautiful articles there. Some interesting articles there. Enjoy reading it. And please share our, our blog also and you know an afro beast journey we always bring it home